Hello people, this is a hair tutorial of how I went from this to this, okay? For those of you asking, Nancy, how did you do this hair? Show us how you did it, show us the hairstyle. Well, I came to All Naturals to make this hair because I don't know how to braid my hair myself, okay? I can twist my hair myself, but I cannot braid. So this salon is the only place I come to for now. It's right beside my house. It's very old school. <laughs> it's not very fancy looking like the new ones on the island, but they know what they are doing. I'm very confident when I come here that they will not damage my hair even when I blow dry it. So that's why I come here. To make this style, she first of all washed my hair and she deep conditioned it. She went ahead and blow dried it. She used the, she was twisting as she was going along just to make sure that the hair doesn't uh, coil up and then, the, you know, get tangled again. So she combed my hair out. For this style, you need your hair to be very sleek and pulled down. As you can see, my hair is very thick. So it did need to be blow dried. So the first thing she did was make a pattern in the center and she did the braid all the way down. Now, for two days, this middle of my hair was just really, really painful. And going forward, I don't think I'm going to do this anymore. Or I'll just tell them to release their hands because I think it was too tight. But this center braid that she's currently doing was really painful. For like two days, I swear I couldn't sleep well. It was so painful. So yeah, going forward, I wouldn't do that. For those of you contemplating on uh, making this hairstyle, just tell them to be very gentle with the braids on the front and on the sides. So because every time I do my two braids, it is always pulling on my edges. And I always discover that my edges become very thin after I take out my two braids. So that's why I'm getting this um, small braid on the side. It's just to protect my edges from getting pulled towards the center. I don't know if you understand, but this is a very good thing to do if you're worried about your edges disappearing okay just do a braid on the side across that area that i did the braid is usually the part that i i, I lose when i lose my hair on you know on my edges so yeah for the stitch braiding she actually cut the hair into small segments like this and she uh, did like a single knot in the center before proceeding to braid <laughs> the entire thing as a single braid so it is a lot of work but it's hard to make natural hair that is very thick like this to just be stitching anyhow. If you don't do it like this, it wouldn't, those lines they are seeing wouldn't show. She put a lot of shea butter and then she just, uh, she was telling me, don't worry about the shea butter. I'll blow dry it. I'll blow dry it. I was like, okay. But yeah, as you can see, this is the only way to go. If you have thick hair like mine, this is how you should show your stylist, um, you know, to do it so that your hair doesn't cut and so that you don't lose, <laughs> you don't lose a lot of hair. This will allow it slick down, not totally like, you know, rel relaxed hair, but it will slick your hair down significantly. They will also use gel when they're done, of course, but this is the best method for you if you don't want to lose a lot of hair. So now she is done. They're just feeding the hair with more artificial hair uh, attachment. I did use attachment, as you can see, but not a lot. And she didn't use a lot at the front. And it came out so pretty, as you can see. <laughs> so here's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Tell me what you think about the style and see you in another one. God bless you. Bye-bye.